A drug typically known for its recreational use in clubs is now making another name for itself among pain management specialists. It's called ketamine, and medical experts are using it to treat patients suffering from chronic pain. KV's Jenny Lee joins us now with the story. Jenny? Hey, Quito, we're used to hearing about ketamine in its street form called Special K, popular on the club scene because it produces a trippy, disassociative sensation. But it's also popular on the pain management scene because it's proven to be effective for those suffering from pain for months on end. How have you been feeling after the uh, last ketamine infusion? Uh, kind of needing it now. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, Lisa Turner can manage when her pain is at a 5 or a 6. But when it gets to a 7 or 8... I'm stuck in bed. I can't deal with sound and light. And it's just basically being stuck in a cold, dark room. So the majority of my pain is up around my skull um, and into my shoulders and just mainly around my neck. Um, and it's basically just like an intense headache. Turner's ordeal began in May of 2009 when she was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, an autoimmune disease that attacks your own body. It temporarily paralyzed Turner. I had to relearn how to walk and I had to relearn how to swallow. I mean, it was like being a baby again. Since then, Turner's painful journey has led to the discovery of ketamine infusions, something pain management specialists like Mark White are using more of to treat chronic pain sufferers. It's actually quite effective for uh, disrupting the memory that our cells have on how to transmit pain. White says nerve pain, which Turner suffers from, is the worst kind. It usually presents as either burning, a type of severe burning, or it could be like lightning bolts, electrical uh, shocks, um, and you could have both actually, but it's excruciating. But with each treatment, it is less excruciating for a bit, buying Turner more time as she finds more options to treat her pain. Now, it is important to note that the FDA has not approved ketamine for this particular use. It has for its use as an anesthesia. But it is also important to point out that it is legal and, in fact, common for doctors to use off-label medications, like in this case. What, one such example, Botox, was used for migraine prevention for quite a while before the FDA actually approved it. Quita. Thank you, Jenny.